Hey everyone, it's Morgan here. We're going to be talking today about how to assemble a binder for class, okay? So the first thing you need to do is get yourself a three ring binder. Now, typically I would say two or three inches would be good. The cute little one inch ones are nice, but you would overflow that one really quickly. Now, I'm personally kind of uh, leaning towards using view binders. I'm partial to them. I like that you can put stuff uh, on the front and back to make them a little more uh, easily recognized, so to speak. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this one, which is a view binder, and we're gonna add on the front this piece right here. Now this is just an identifier. It's got the name of the class. You put student name, put my name on it, put room 503. I often tell students that, you know, if I see binders on the floor in the hallway and the student has gone through the effort of putting a room number in that on them, I'm going to try to make the effort to get that returned to the student if they've lost it. Okay? Now, on the back, there's a couple different options for honors chemistry. I encourage people to put a periodic table. Okay, we'll stick this one in here. For AP chemistry, I tend to encourage you to print your syllabus, the weekly syllabus that I post, and put that here so you know where to find it. And you can even put a sheet here on the spine itself, which is nice if you're putting a bunch of these in your binder, or I'm sorry, in your locker, or if you have a bunch of them on a bookshelf at home, it makes it very easily recognizable which ones you want, okay? Now the next thing, we're gonna need some dividers. Now, I'm kind of partial to these. I got this at the Dollar Tree, just down the street from my house this morning, and the uh, company is called Avery, but any company's fine. I like these myself because they're what they call big tab. And the big tab, it's just easier for me to read, okay? So they come with a sheet that I've run through my printer. And I usually keep a stack of these dividers in the room for kids that want them and pre-printed labels. But lecture notes, homework, handouts, labs, tests, and also for uh, those of you in AP, I add a section called syllabus. Now. It'd be just as easy to make these up by taking some post-it notes. And you can just stick the post-it note on a sheet of paper like that, write it on there, there you go. That's your uh, kind of ghetto version, so to speak, of how to do the dividers. Now, once you've printed these labels, what you can do is tear them off, they're perforated, and then I print the name on both columns. This is a uh, template that's included in Microsoft Word. And fold them over like that so that when I open this up, I can take this tab here and I can just insert it like this, being folded over. It's thicker than normal. So that means it's going to stay in there well. Okay. Easy to read from both sides. Okay. Now, lecture notes. For honors and for AP chemistry both, I use lecture outlines, which I have written in advance, and they will be posted for you to download. Okay. Print them out. And I would encourage you to learn right away how to print on both sides of the page. Now, some of you are going to say, my printer doesn't print two-sided. Every single printer prints two-sided. It's just a matter of running the sheet of paper through it twice. You just have to take a couple of tries at learning which way do I need to point it in. And I've put those instructions on a little post-it note and actually put that on the printer so I can see which way I have to put the paper in. Now, you will be writing on these. If you do not have a printer at home, what you can do is basically recreate this on a sheet of notebook paper yourself, okay? And I'll give those to you as we go chapter by chapter. There'll be a section for your completed homeworks, handouts, labs, 
and tests. Now, I normally like to also add a folder that we would call completed homework, ready to be turned in. And what many students do is they use this front pocket in the binder. As you can see, it's got a pocket here. And what they'll do is they'll just put it right here, completed homework, ready to be turned in, so that when we are actually in the building, you never have to look for where you put your homework. The homework that's done, that's ready, it's right there. Open it up, pull it out, name already on it. You can turn that in right away, okay? So again, probably a two or for AP, maybe even a three inch binder, or you might end up in two binders. Okay, if you can find them, if you can afford them, the view binders are nice. Do your dividers, okay, and you should be ready to go. And yes, even though we're not in the building, we will be having some binder checks, okay? All right, so that's it for this one. Talk to you soon.